First things first, get your hair out of your face. I'm just using a little hair tie and putting my hair up in a little teeny tiny ponytail. But you can use a headband, some bobby pins, a wig cap, whatever you have handy. Next, using a damp beauty blender, I am going to apply my foundation. And I am using the Makeup Forever HD Studio Invisible Foundation. And just apply that evenly all over your face. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is just the original formula. And I am putting that all over my lids, underneath my eyes, and through my eyebrows just to ensure the pigment I'm going to use will stick better. To set everything, I am using the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and a fluffy face brush and just gently sweeping that all over my face to ensure everything is set. Now for your brows, you are going to take the NYX eye slash eyebrow pencil in the shade Electric Blue and you are going to shape your brows with that. Just either follow the natural shape you've already got going on or sort of create a bit of a dramatic pointy one.
the eyes, you are going to take the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in the shade Voyeur and only apply that to the crease as well as the outer parts of your eye. Leave the middle blank for the moment. Next, you are going to take a light lavender shade and apply that to the remainder of your lid. Unfortunately, this is quite old, so the label at the bottom kind of rubbed off, so I do not know what brand it is. But any light lavender shade will work. ended up not making the shadow pigmented enough so I just used my finger to pat on a little bit more of the lavender shadow to deepen the pigment just a bit. Next I am taking the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and using the shade Heaven I am going to apply that to my brow bone for a highlight. For the liner, I am using the Smashbox Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Black, and I am applying that with a small angled brush. Now, please excuse the fact that my camera goofed, but you are going to wing that out a little bit, nothing too dramatic, just to give it a bit of flair. <laughs> And for the contour, you are taking the same blue eyeshadow from earlier, and you are going to apply that to your temples, the hollows of your cheeks, and your jawline. Also applying that to the bridge of my nose for a little more color and consistency. Next you are going to take the Urban Decay blush in the shade Bittersweet 
and apply that to the apples of your cheeks. Now this is kind of my favorite blush at the moment because it is such a pretty purple color. It does have a bit of a pink undertone, but it is mainly purple. Now, just to kind of tone down the pigment of my blush, as well as smooth out any harsh lines from my contour that may remain, I am going to take the same setting powder and fluffy brush from earlier and just kind of smooth everything out. You're going to take a lash curler and curl your lashes before applying a coat of mascara. And I am using the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. You are going to take a pressed glitter pigment from Sephora. This is very sparkly glitter. It is not horribly, horribly pigmented. It's basically like putting cosmetic glitter in your face, but it will give you that extra dose of sparkle and shininess. <laughs> Now for the lips, you are going to take the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Little Denim Dress and apply that all over your lips. did was throw on a pair of lashes and a white wig and a flower crown and I don't have the veil on from the inter because it decided it wanted to slip off but all of the products I used as well as my social media links are down in the description and I will see you guys next time love you bye